What up YouTube, it's Willington here and today we are going to be learning how to screen capture using Shadow Play on Windows 10. Alright, so obviously you want to open the application and give it some time to load up. And there you are. It opens up in my rig and that's because the last time I closed this that's where it was. So after checking that your drivers are all up to date and everything is looking good, this is the button that we want right here. Just click on that and it will open up this window. Actually, minimize that. So this is what we're looking at right here. You have all these options right here that you can tweak around to your um, preferences. But before any of that is enabled, you have to click and turn on this shadow play. So click that. It takes you some time, a couple of seconds, and there we go. Um, so first off, this button right here, this is for you to select where you'll be saving your videos, like where the saved, the recorded media is going to be saved. And then the next is this gear looking setting thing. If you click on that, it opens up the preferences and most of these are things that I leave off because like this one here um, is for your um, webcam in case you have a webcam that you use to record the screen and you want it to you know you it's just to position where your picture will be or your feed will be on the screen so I don't have one so I usually just leave that one off just like that and then this one here is the status indicator I haven't found any purpose for it when you turn it on, it just just it's a status indicator, you know what's happening with um, with your shadow play. Um, I feel like it's mainly for people um, recording this in games. Um, for me, I usually leave that one off too. And then the frame counter is also just for gamers. So this is just the positioning why you want it to be on the screen. So I leave that one off too. Um, the main thing that we want here on the screen is allow desktop capture so you turn that one on and that enables us to record this screen right here other than just recording in game if it's off you can, it, it, it can only record the game that you're playing as soon as you close your game it's not recording anything and at the bottom right here it gives you all the options um, or the shortcuts to all the things that you can do and at the bottom here um, is all the things that we already talked about like this is why your videos will be located and saved and this is just a temporary file location if you want you can change that one too but the main thing I usually use here is the alt F10 and that's just saves however many minutes you've chosen um, it just saves your video it's a shortcut you just press alt and F10 like just press both of those together and that will save your video we'll see that in a minute so that's what the um, this button here does it just brings you to the settings screen but right on this screen I will minimize that one again on this screen here you still have these options right here that you can change I will start on the right hand right here and this is the audio um, right now it's on off and that's because I'm not using um, I'm not feeding my audio right into the computer so I don't really need it on so you can choose it to be off so that way it's not recording any audio either in the computer or the audio that's coming into the computer and then this next setting right here is for um, if you want to record the audio that's being played on the computer let's say you're playing music or Yo, there's a game going on any audio that's being pro processed um, produced in a computer it will be recorded as as well as the audio that's coming from your microphone maybe you have headphones on that have um, a microphone on it um, that audio will be recorded too and then this setting right here this is for just the audio that's being produced by your computer it won't record anything that's coming coming into the computer and that's what that does like I said I'm not using it so I usually just leave that one off since I record my audio outside of the computer and then just put them together later on and then the quality um, this is how how much quality you want for your video 
um, basically it only just changes mainly the megabytes per second like right here as you see it tells you um, the settings you have so it's on low and if I do medium it's now at 22 megabytes per second and if I change it to high it goes to 50 and most of the times I just do custom and decide um, whatever quality I want myself I usually just do 1080 and then the frames you have 60 or 30 and I usually do 30 that's mostly what I do so that's that pattern the next pattern on is the shadow time and this is the one of the most important things that you want to set so this determines how far how long um, how much time is going to be recorded by your recorder once you once you hit the save button right here so right now it's at 10 I most of the time will make it go all the way to 20 just so I know everything is covered because I don't ever make videos that are longer than 20 minutes so um, that way as soon as you hit that button right here it starts recording and once you hit this right here when you're done whatever you're doing like tutorials or anything like that once you hit the out f10 it will save the last 20 minutes now that's important you have to know if it's all the way to 20 whatever you're doing has to be under 20 minutes because if you just keep going past the 20 minutes it's all it's not going to save all of that stuff so you have to make sure that you are keeping an eye on time so if I did 20 minutes and then I did my tutorial whatever I'm working on showing on you know on screen and I go over 20 minutes to 30 minutes if I'm 30 minutes in and then I, re I hit um, out F10 it's only going to record the 20 minutes and it's not going to be it not, it's not going to save um, the last 10 minutes that the first 10 minutes that I did so you have to make sure you are within the time limit that's why I usually leave mine at 20 because I don't usually ever go over 20 minutes and next up right here is all these different settings right here um, shadow and manual um, enables shadow and manual recording modes um, I really only use shadow that way I'm controlling um, the time and whenever I, I want to um, to save my you know last 20 minutes in this case I would just hit off um, out F10 and that's it so unless you really need both of these I'm not really sure even what what the difference is I haven't found a way of using them since I don't have many games that I play using um, using the GeForce experience but yeah I usually just leave mine here and it just works so basically that's it um, the only thing I wanted to mention I should have said this in the beginning is the shadow play is only available if you are online so if my um, if my internet is off so if I for example right here if I went and disconnected internet it's disconnected right now and then I open the GeForce experience it will load up um, but there's no shadow play no matter where I go I can't find it it's not there so you do have to make sure that you are connected online before you can get shadow play sometimes it's the case um, when people don't know and they just want to record something and they're not online um, they can't find it so you make sure you are connected so if I close it and then connect to the internet so now I'm connected and if I go and reopen it there you go it's on so you just make sure you have your internet on and you won't have any problems thank you for watching again make sure you subscribe to my channel and leave your questions and comments in this comment section below and I will see you in the next video thanks for watching again
see you. Bye.